scope of master's level course in teaching, please reply. We are looking for uh, professionals in our teaching industry. I remember at one time teachers were in the long term skill shortage list of New Zealand. Uh, they seem to have taken it out, but I am going to quickly, no, uh, it's definitely, I mean, teachers are no longer uh, in our long term skill shortage area. But then I kind of keep reading the news, you know, I'm a regular reader of, uh, you know, uh, our local newspapers here. I uh, diligently wake up, and uh, when I wake up in the morning, I diligently read the New Zealand Herald, uh, followed by another, um, uh, on uh, you know, uh, uh, news uh, uh, platform called stuff.co.nz. So, and I constantly see that there are news reports of shortage of teachers in Auckland, shortage of teachers somewhere else, shortage of teachers. So there seems to be a big shortage of teaching uh, staff uh, definitely in New Zealand, although they have taken it off the long term skill shortages. And that's the <clears throat> other message uh, uh, that I would like to uh, you know, uh, give to all my viewers today is even if it's not on the long term skill shortage uh, list, it doesn't mean that the end of the world. It means that there will be opportunities, it's just that there are not so many that the government decided to put that particular profession into the long term. So, well, it, you know, being on the long term skill shortage is a definite advantage, which means there's a defined shortage in that particular area. But even if it's not on that, like for instance, you know, a lot of retail managers would not be on the long term skill shortage list. But so many of my uh, students and clients who have completed courses in business have gone on to join the retail industry or the recruitment industry or you know, administration, business administration, so on and so forth. So do not always go by what's in the long term skill shortage list. So just as a person and uh, who lives in New Zealand and reads the news here daily, uh, Deepesh, I see quite regularly that there is a shortage of teaching staff in New Zealand. So, excuse me, doing a master's level course in teaching might actually be a very good option. But uh, uh, I think you will have that uh, added uh, uh, step of also getting your registration as a teacher in New Zealand. So please ensure whatever course you are choosing will also be a stepping stone towards that teaching uh, career uh, and to get your registration as a teacher. If your aspiration is not to be a teaching person, but just be involved with the education industry. Like, I mean, in some ways, I'm also a guy in the education industry because I talk to you about international education, but I don't have to have a registration as a teacher. But then if you intend to only be a teacher, then obviously you will need to have uh, a teacher's registration, which by law is required in New Zealand. So <clears throat> if you're intending to uh, get into teaching, then please pick a master's, which would also be a stepping stone towards uh, getting the teacher registration. Otherwise, I think a master's in teaching would be good enough as well. All right. Cool.